Hey everybody, Curtis here. Gonna do a pedal board demo for you. Some of you have been asking about that since I did the unboxing video of my salvage custom shop. And I have it all wired up now and um, it was sort of designed uh, with particular pedals in mind. And um, so I'm gonna show it um, in its fullest in a second. Um, but just to explain a little bit, this pedal board is designed to take my acoustic guitar and my electric guitar in. The electric guitar goes out um, stereo to two amplifiers. Um, that's a stereo effect through the delay. And so the right channel, you will hear my Swart AST-112 combo amplifier mic'd with the Sennheiser E906. The left channel, you'll hear my normal channel of my Vox AC-30, uh, 90s British Vox, mic'd with a Shure SM57. And uh, so here is my pedal board. And um, I'll explain how it works as we move forward here. Um, just uh, I'll start off not by going into detail about the pedals, but uh, signal chain. I'm using 100% lava cables, so coming from the electric guitar right here into compression, medium overdrive, um, light transparent overdrive, then into this um, switcher box right here, which is pretty much the heart of my rig. It is a, um, a switcher box made by Dan Burgess from This One's Mine. Switches between my acoustic guitar and my electric guitar, and um, it also has a loop in it that I put some effects in, modulation delay, essentially reverb and delay, and volume pedal. Um, so in this uh, um, loop, it goes uh, through the overdrives to this box, out of this box to the timeline. The left channel goes to the supermoon, to my Vox AC30. The right channel um, goes through the tuner to the Eterna, to the right channel um, amplifier. And so that comes through these lava saw cables here. Again, I just got them incredibly happy with the way they sound. And I'm using lava solderless cables on my board. And, um, and so uh, essentially, um, I'm going to let you hear it now. Um, and uh, so here is my Gibson ES335. And um, it's a 1982. I've changed the pots, uh, changed the bridge to Callaham. And um, I'm using um, stainless frets. Uh, it's been refretted. I'm incredibly happy with it. Uh, by the way, I should say this whole entire board is pow powered with a uh, Seox or a Klox DC-10. And um, it's just one power supply. Brian at Pedal Shark was awesome to deal with. I, I messaged him uh, the pedals that were going on this board. Um, and he said, this is the best power supply for you. And uh, he told me exactly how to hook it up. And I was incredibly happy. So if you need a new power supply, um, contact Brian at Pedal Shark. Um, so this is, uh, go through the electric and then I'll, I'll go through the acoustic. So here is um, electric guitar, left channel Vox AC30. So that's no effects. Here's with the uh, Swart on. That's my uh, guitar with no effects on it. Um, I apologize for a little bit of static noise. I think I might have something wrong with an amp. I just changed tubes in it. Might be the tubes, not certain. So uh, we'll get that looked at. Um, first in line, my compressor, uh, the electric guitar um, compression um, is a barefoot pale green compressor. That is version two. Um, I've had all the barefoot compressors. They're exceptional. Um, and uh, my kids actually helped me choose this one. It glows in the dark. That's why it made my um, salvage custom board. And so this is a uh, version two. I use it as a mild compression. I never used to like compression. Um, this uh, changed my opinion on that. That's how good it is, kind of sweetens the tone. And so here is clean without it. And here is with the barefoot pale green compressor. my signal chain is the Klon, but actually the next pedal that I most commonly turn on is, is not the Klon. It is the Emerson Custom M Drive, transparent overdrive, um, and it's, uh, it's great. It has um, sort of a gain volume, really simple to use. Check out demos I've done. Um, it's, uh, 
sort of um, a boost for me and a little bit of grit, um, really light overdrive. That's kind of how I like it. Um, and it's not always on, but it's kind of one that I'd start um, maybe a fast song with, um, have on during the verses, and then I'd stack it with the quan, maybe for the uh, chorus, something like that. I'm kind of a singer rhythm player, and that's why uh, my guitar playing sounds as it does. Um, so here is the M drive on its own. Um, the Emerson Custom Guitars M Drive. Um, next, I'll just let you hear the clon um, on its own. And um, so here it is um, without. <laughs> Centaur, and um, uh, I've had it for a while. It's a great pedal. Um, that um, is normally turned on with uh, the M drive. So I'm going to turn compression back on, the M drive back on, and um, and uh, so I'll just uh, maybe play something, then I'll kick the clon on, show you how it sounds uh, stacked together. So. <laughs> in the chain goes through the volume and the tuner and um, and it goes to the timeline delay and so I have a dual delay here and I'll just let you hear the timeline uh, dual delay I'll leave compression on <laughs> compressor on and uh, it's just a great delay very functional I've dialed it down so it only has six banks uh, most commonly I use the dual delay and the D tape which is the tape delay because I am familiar with the El Capistan delay pedal they have and, and so then my, my uh, guitar comes out of this right and left signal the right goes through the Eterna and the left goes through the Supermoon so I'm going to turn those both on now the Eterna um, is sort of more of a mild setting because I, I believe I have a tiny bit of reverb on my Swart amplifier and um, and so um, I will let you hear those pedals without uh, the delay first, and, um, and then I'll add the delay back on. to them. Mr. Black makes both of these pedals. He's come out with a number of pedals um, in the last year, and I, I um, have chatted with him a little bit, and he is just a super cool dude. If you don't know Mr. Black pedals, um, you should check him out. Um, I've done a bunch of demos of them, and uh, you, need to, uh, you need to find out about them. 
Um, so I'm going to turn the timeline on now, and um, I'm going to do uh, some volume swells for you. Um, just um, I'm going to turn up the mix a little bit, the decay up a little bit on them, and, um, and let you hear um, how these pedals sound with the dual delay and some volume swells. was not in stereo, so you didn't even hear the Eterna. How good was that? how I use it. Um, now I'm going to switch to acoustic guitar. Um, this um, now enables me, I'm going to mute the right signal out of the timeline. I'm going to turn these reverbs off. Um, here is my acoustic guitar. It's a Gibson Advanced Jumbo, Rosewood back and sides, basically the same as a uh, J45 style guitar, except for the Rosewood back and sides. This is um, a little bit of a limited uh, edition, uh, different inlay, stuff like that. Um, I'm using an LR Bags um, Anthem. Uh, pickup in it, so it's got a mic and and a um, UST, and uh, so here is um, just the acoustic guitar. Um, I should say, acoustic guitar comes in the side, it bypasses the compressors and overdrives, goes straight to this, comes straight out of this. Underneath, I've mounted the the radial J48 DI box and out XLR here, and if I want, um, I can use the effects, the timeline. Um, for delay or for the looper and the supermoon for reverb um, in this chain. And so here is, uh, here's the acoustic guitar. And so that's, that's no effects. Um, Let's add the super moon uh, to the acoustic guitar and let you hear that a little bit. hear the microphone in the guitar picking up my voice a little bit actually. guitar through this pedal board uh, minus the overdrives and the compression and um, so there it is there's my pedal board folks um, I am incredibly happy with it uh, Daniel from salvage custom did a great job um, and uh, thank you so much for watching if you like it um, give me a like if you dislike go right ahead that's cool too um, either way uh, have a good day subscribe if you can thanks for watching <laughs>